I'll probably do a dedicated video on what I think is really cool about Plasma's edit mode. But for anyone who's never used and has no idea what it is, edit mode is where we can go and modify our widgets, where they're placed, how they're sized, we can go and configure them, we can go and make new widgets, we can go and make new panels, we can go and modify the panel down here as well, and a bunch of different things. Now, once you learn how to use it, once you learn how to navigate it, it lets you do some really awesome things. The problem is learning how to navigate it requires overcoming some, at best, questionable UX decisions. Now, I want to make it clear out of the gate that this video is not me saying this is the objectively correct way to do things. I've been using Plasma for like a week, two weeks now, whatever it's been, and I think Plasma has some serious UX issues that probably should be addressed. But if you think I'm wrong and you think it's perfectly fine the way it is, that's great. If you think I'm wrong and maybe there is an issue, but the way I want it to be solved is completely wrong, that's also fine. Please get involved in the discussion as well. Everybody here wants to make Plasma better. Now, I want to start off by using the mistakes I made in my previous video as sort of a springboard to talk about the way that things could be improved. Now, one of the issues I had is when you were not in edit mode, so the way that I'm in right now, I didn't realize there was a way to go and move around a widget. I tried to click on it, which obviously brings up this menu. I tried to like double click on it, which didn't work. What you actually have to do is do a hold on it, and it brings up this. With this being visible, we can go and drag the widget around, we can go and resize it, we can go and configure it, we can go and delete it. Basically, all of the things that you'd want to do to the widget. This is not full desktop edit mode, so we can't go and make new widgets, make new panels, things like that. It's specifically edit mode on the widget, something like a widget edit mode. I have a few issues, and you could call the first one a pet peeve. I think hold interactions work really well on touchscreen devices, whether that be a phone, a tablet, or even just a touchscreen computer. When you are interacting with a mouse, though, I always feel like hold interactions are a little bit awkward and just don't really make any sense for the device. Now, I'm not saying get rid of the hold interaction because there are people who have been using Plasma for a long time where this is going to feel like a natural way to use it. But we do have this click interaction and we do have this hold interaction. And at least on this widget, there isn't a double click action being used, but maybe some of them do have them. I would like the user to have the ability to go and swap these actions around. So if I click on a widget, instead of it bringing up this, it's going to go and bring up this instead, or maybe a double click, just so it's less likely that you accidentally do it. Now, whilst there is the widget hold interaction, the same cannot be said on the desktop. Holding here does absolutely nothing, or on the panel. Holding here also does absolutely nothing. This, to me, feels really inconsistent. Why is edit mode on this, on a hold interaction, but not on either of these things. Now, when I say hold interaction, I specifically mean hold interaction. I've zoomed in a bit so you can see exactly what I mean. If we hold down and move the cursor just a little bit, it doesn't get treated like a drag interaction. If we move just a little bit too much, maybe about that much, while holding down, it's now treated like a drag. And it won't bring up the hold interaction until you let go of the left mouse and then you hold it down again. There is no drag interaction when you are not in widget edit mode, so I don't know why it's even trying to register a drag action in the first place. This is not a big deal for me. I can keep my hands perfectly still when I'm trying to do a hold. But if you're someone that has really shaky hands, this interaction is going to be very inconsistent when it actually ends up working. None of what I've said so far is the end of the world. If we right click on a widget, there is going to be this contact menu which has everything we need. There's going to be this end to edit mode button. If we then hover over a widget, it gives us all of the same stuff we were using before. But I would like to see it be more consistent across the different elements. Also being able to configure how the actions are done would make them easier for certain users. One thing that is clearly not intended though is the way that the pop-up on the widget actually repositioned itself. So there is an additional button here that you've just not been able to see the entire time because it doesn't reposition itself if it's cut off by the top of the screen. Now, I wouldn't care if it just didn't reposition itself whatsoever. It does reposition itself for the side though, so 
that's clearly not supposed to happen. Maybe if it did something like appear across the bottom, or maybe just shifted downwards or upwards, depending upon if it's the top or the bottom that's cutting it off, but what's happening right now is clearly not the best behavior. Now, the second issue I had, and the main point of this video, is when it comes to editing a panel. Now, when you go into edit mode, so enter edit mode right here, this is not the same edit mode as the panel edit mode, but if you see this little, this little label right here, enter edit mode, says the exact same thing as the enter edit mode here. I was under the assumption that these were the same thing, which to me seems like a reasonable assumption to make. So here's the difference. If we enter edit mode on the desktop, we have this bar along the top, we can go and make new widgets, we can go make new panels, all of this sort of stuff. Okay, if we go and enter edit mode on the panel, we can still do all of that same stuff. However, we also have the panel settings. And the panel settings are basically the same thing as the widget settings. It lets me go and configure it, change the position. In this case, I can do things like dodge windows, auto hide, always visible, things like that. I can change the height. I can make it floating or not floating. Basically, I can just configure it the way that I want it to be configured. Okay, so a couple of things here. If we are currently in panel edit mode and either click add widgets up here or right click add widgets down here, it is going to take us out of panel edit mode and put us back into desktop edit mode. That is already weird and annoying, but when we're in desktop edit mode, how do we get back into panel edit mode? This is one of the things I was really confused about in my original video. I tried to like double click on the bar, hold click on the bar, click on the bar, just do all of these different things that would make sense to get into the edit mode for the panel. No, no, no. Now, I could see this, but I didn't even notice it. There is a way to do it. See this little icon off to the side here? This icon that looks like it's just a regular normal part of the bar. If you click on this, this is going to open the panel settings. Why does it need to look like a natural part of the bar? Why can't it be like this little pop-up here sitting above the bar, very clearly saying configure the panel? Because if you're using a small panel like I do, that's really easy to miss. This goes back to what I was saying before about inconsistencies. All of these buttons along the top here have clear labels that are always visible. But this button down here only has a label if you hover over it. Why? Now there is another way to get into panel edit mode. So right now I'm in desktop edit mode. If we go and right click on this and then click on exit edit mode, now it brings up the panel settings. This is a known label issue with Plasma. It's supposed to be fixed upstream. I don't know if it has been, but I know developers are aware of it. Anyway, one more thing on the button. Now that I know the button is here and it's always going to be here on a panel, it is easy enough to find. But as a new user, it is completely understandable that you're going to miss it. You could call it a skill issue or whatever you want to call it, I think it's just bad UX. Here's what I think would be a thousand times better. So I am in desktop edit mode. I click on the panel and then this appears. There's no need to go through this button here. There's no need to like right click on a context menu that has a broken label. I just click on the panel and it opens the thing. Considering the way the edit mode currently works, I thought that nobody had ever suggested this before. Turns out, it has actually been discussed in the KDE Visual Design Group. This is suggesting exactly what I'm talking about. You click in the empty space on the panel, obviously clicking on the icons here or the icons here would make things behave a bit weirdly, so specifically the empty space, and then it opens the editor pop-out. That is all. That is exactly what I'm suggesting the next improvement would require a bit more work. So if you make a modification whilst in edit mode, this change is instantly saved. There is no way to undo your actions. Now, I don't think being able to undo individual actions makes that much sense because you might make these very minor tweaks and undoing things would be really, really difficult. But I would like it to be if you are in edit mode, the prior state you're in, 
can be reverted back to. So if we go and move this like over here, over here, whatever we do, maybe make a bunch of like different widgets as well, we could then just say, undo all of the current actions and go back to where we started. Also, see how we have this add panel button here. This has application menu bar, default panel, empty panel, but the panels themselves don't have a panel save button. If we could save a modified panel we've made and then re-add it as much as we want, that would be cool, or at least the ability to copy a panel and paste it over to another screen. I have no idea what the back end looks like for edit mode. Everything could be hard coded in this list, and there is no way to make a modular system without completely redesigning the system. I hope it's not like that, because if it is like that, yeah, this would require a ton of work. But if it is saved in a modular way, I don't see that being that crazy of an idea to do. Now, as said before, this video is meant to be a dialogue. It is not meant to say what I'm saying is exactly right and nothing can be done better. If you think there's a better way to do things, please do let me know. And please let the KD developers know as well. I'm sure some of them are going to come across this video. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you liked the video, go like the video. And if you really liked the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, check out the Patreon, subscribe, silly bear, pay linked in the description down below. That's going to be it for me and get ready for me to talk about tiling.